Thanksgiving is just hours away, and for some, that means it's also time to pick out that perfect Christmas tree. But as KSPY News reporter Alex Gonzalez found out, a tree shortage will have folks forking over more green this year. There's nothing quite like visiting your local Christmas tree farm or lot to pick out that Christmas tree you've been looking forward to all year. But that might be harder as a Grinch lurks on Christmas tree farms. There's something memorable about going to pick out your very own Christmas tree. This year we decided to kind of get it at this time and uh, I used to kind of cut down trees when I was a kid, but this is the first time we've done it. Uh, I've done it as a father and a with my kids, so we're starting a new tradition. But states across the country are experiencing a shortage of these famous pines, which has people like Carl Holloway, who has been in the business for 60 years, aware of the demand. We sold all of our fir trees last year by the 15th of December. We were out of pre-cut trees that we bring in. And this year we have 400 less than the number we got last year. Holloway tells me that this noble fir right here is one of the most popular. This tree measuring eight to nine feet tall, just one of the many trees on everyone's wish list. And while fir pines are highly sought after, locally grown Monterey pines are another great choice. Half the trees we grow here on the farm are Monterey pine. They're my favorite tree. They're what I grew up with. A lot of people come in here. Holloway's has been here for 60 years. They come in here and go, I grew up with this tree, this is what I want. You know, you can keep your fancy trees, I don't, I don't need that. Those fancy trees like noble firs are the ones low in numbers. According to Holloway, the recession in 2008 led many tree farmers to downscale operations or leave the industry altogether. The impact of that now just being felt. Big box stores like Home Depot are also running short on supply. Noble firs take about seven years to reach seven to eight feet in height. The Monterey pines, however, only take about four, and since they're grown locally, their prices are also lower. Holloway says they expect thousands of people to be visiting the farm the day after Thanksgiving, probably one of the busiest days in the year. He says they'll make about 50 to 60 percent of their annual profits during this time. Reporting in Napomo, I'm Alex Gonzalez, KSBY News. And of course, once you get your tree home, make sure it always has water and so it doesn't dry out on you and do not place it near any heat sources.